Hello, dearest Lily. Happy birthday. I'm going to show you a couple of little um, tips and tricks for drawing a cat. So, I haven't practiced this at all. We'll see what happens. I think I'm going to use a um, pencil to start. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, so first, I like to start with a basic shape. And I think a lot of cats have um, kind of a, not a round head necessarily, but a head that looks kind of like a lima bean. <laughs> then I like to put some triangles on top of that. looks more like a Siamese cat <laughs> that's okay and then some little places in the ears for where the little pink part would be and then below that somewhere kind of in the middle of this so you can draw a line in the middle if you want to I'm gonna take those away though because I don't want them but if you want to do that you can if you do that let me just show you what I was gonna say the nose would go like about right there. So I'm just gonna put the nose in. The nose is kind of the same shape as the head. His little nostrils. And then under the nose, so I think I'm gonna make that a little bigger. Un that's too big. <laughs> Hold on. That's perfect. Okay, under the nose, there's like this little line that has these little upward things at the bottom, and then the nostrils. There we go. And now the eyes would go somewhere, and they're kind of round, but kind of almond shape. They go like there. So let's do that. First, I'm going to do like just an upward line like that, like a frown on each side. It's already looking kind of cute. I'm going to do like a little smiley thing. I think that looks cute. And then if you want to make the eyes open, you just put little circles under there. And then you do another line under and under. And then I think I'm going to make my pencil a little thicker. Wait, is that spreading it out more? No, I don't know. Anyway, a little thicker. Okay. Now, then you make kind of an, um, what do I want to call it? Like an almond shape in the middle of the eye which looks cute. Then you're going to color that in, leaving one little white dot. Now you can put like a little tongue here if you want. I'm going to make a little line around the eye to make a little darker. And now let's fill in the nose. I think I'm going to have to use a different um, like a paintbrush for the nose. Let's see if that's too, oh dear. Well, we can leave that, but that's not quite what I expected. All right, make it smaller. It's too light, so let's use this paintbrush. Let's see what that does. Let's see how, let's not make it too thick. This will be good. All right. Now on the nose, I'm going to also leave a little spot it's kind of like a little highlight now the fun thing about this is I like this darkness so I can use that for fill in the details so cats pupils are not round they're almond shape I mean, you could do whatever you want and it'll look amazing, but. Let's 
What a cute little kitty. Now, let's get to the, well, I think I'm going to do like a little, um, I'm going to do the outline of the ears a little bit more. Let's give him some little cheeks. And some stripes. I'm going to erase this line because I don't like it. But that's okay. I'll put it back. I was, nope, I was there. Okay. I want to make him a little chubbier. There, that's good. Now, I'm going to do some other lines in here. And if you see, I'm doing the lines. I'm not making them straight. I'm kind of curving them. And... Now, I'm going to do the body. So, this little guy's just going to be sitting up. And he's got a little bit of furriness right here. And a little collar on, oopsies, with a little fish on it. Now, I like to do like a little triangle under the little collar, upside down triangle, it makes it easier. So that's like going to be the chest where all the fur is and everything. And then I make a line next to it that comes out with a foot. And then I just connect it right there. And then I do another line down like this with another little foot, which is very cute. And then I connect it up there too. And then, easy enough to do like another little line back here, just following alongside of it with another little foot. And then here, I'm gonna put a line there and a line there, cause that's the foot in the back. And then you can make a tail And you can make that fluffy later. Then all you have to do is color it in. And make it as um, fluffy as you want. I don't know what this brush does, but we're going to try it. Well, that's kind of good. I like that. Now, when you're making fur, I think I'll use a different brush, though. When you're making fur, that might be a highlighter. Let's use this again. And we'll just do it. A little bit wider when you're making fur you want to make the fur go in the direction oh we need to make it thicker that the fur grows so you don't want if you're doing fur like this then that's fine but the fur should be growing that way so I don't want to do it that way I want the fur to kind of be coming out like at a little curve And that takes a little while, so you just pick the little places where you want the fur. Actually, ah, I gotta go.